Hey guys, and welcome back to Always Remember Me. So, we have work tomorrow! Let's go! Awesome. Alright. So then... Work, work! Um... Right. So we have to go visit with Hugh. Hi, Hugh! Oh, So cute. Okay. Anyways, uh, da 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 da! Let's go practice some writing! And we failed! Yeah. yeah! Oh shit. Oh well. Well, we got some creativity this time at least. One point, but still! Alright, Hugh's shop! Hi, Hugh! Oh, we're already at 80! Noise! Alright, come on. Practice, yeah! Okay, it's evening. Oh, right. Right. Alright, um, let's go to our room and write a poem then. Oh no! No! Ah! Oh well. Uh, visit with you. Hi, you! Thanks! Alright. And then let's go practice writing. Didn't we didn't get anything. We even failed at it. Alright then. Write a poem. Uh oh. Inconsistency can be exciting. Even if a worry er yeah, even if a worry at times, your unpredictability never ceases to get my heart pounding. It's impossible to forget that you're more than a little out of my control. But there's more than just that reflected in your excited eyes. You're creative and artistic with endless new ideas. You may not always seem the type, but your imagination is like a miracle to witness. From, down, er, from dawn to dusk, the connection between us is stronger than I could have hoped. You're always giving me chances with roads I could never have predicted could be mine to walk. And you're always giving me more reasons to hold on tight when I get lost in your strong arms every day and night whoa I wrote a poem about Hugh he really deserved it holy crap look at our creativity whoa <laughs> fan fucking tastic all right uh boo oh park is closed okay wow though holy crap our creativity is at 60 now! I am very happy with this. Alright, uh, no, do not do any shopping just yet. Go to the park? Nope, nothing. Practice writing. Yeah, 61! Then we go to the park to relax. And then let's take a painting course. And we're already at uh, Creativity 62. Yeah! Oh, great. So she didn't sleep well either. Fuck. Hi, you! Yay! Yeah! Okay, um... Go here, nothing here. I don't remember if we got that... Bring it on. Uh... That little thing... For there. I know that we got the one for here, but, uh, oh well, I guess I'll we'll just keep checking. Write a poem! No, you failed! Oh, well, I guess it's, I guess you can fail at writing a poem. Oh, hello! I was on my way home from work when my cell phone started to ring. I looked at it curiously when I saw that it was Hugh but picked it up with a slight smile. Yes? I drew out the word lightheartedly as I continued walking toward my house. Hey there, pretty lady. Would you like to go to Le Chao with me for dinner? Le Chao, isn't that place so expensive? It'll be a nice treat, so is that a yes? Why, though? He paused for a moment, and when he continued, he sounded oddly embarrassed. I'll tell you if you come, all right? All right, then. What time? How about seven o'clock? Sounds good. I'll meet you there. See you then. 
I returned home and kept an eye on the clock as I got dressed in one of my nicer outfits. It wasn't a particularly modest dress, but it was still formal enough to blend in at Le Chao. I looked quite elegant, and I didn't doubt that he would be rather impressed with the outfit. I left and made my way to the restaurant as the sun started, uh, started to set, feeling rather eager to arrive. This really sounds like a date! I was still curious about the or what the occasion was, and waved to him when I caught sight of him standing outside. You're looking fine tonight. Thanks, you look pretty good in a suit too. Maybe a bit too serious though. Ha, I'll take that as a compliment. So, what's the occasion? Oh, well, I was supposed to come here with another girl, but she didn't show up. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna say what? So I'm a replacement? Get angry at him! I frown instantly, or a frown instantly appeared on my face. You mean I'm just a replacement? That isn't very nice. Hugh looked surprised when I scowled at him. Oh man. Oh god, we're so close. Hey, hey, are you jealous? I'm not! Then why are you so angry? Because it's rude to just call me because your real date didn't show up. I only called you because I thought it would be a waste otherwise, since the table is reserved for two. I thought about you first, since we're friends. I felt somewhat diffused by his words, and his use of the term friends did bring me back to reality a bit. Sorry for overreacting. I was just a bit surprised is all. It's alright. Shall we go in and grab a bite to eat then? Okay, thanks for- <laughs> er, oops. And thanks for thinking of me. No problem. Aww. The meal went smoothly and it was fairly enjoyable. It was nice to be waited on at such an elegant restaurant, and our conversations over the meal were lighthearted. It was only then or it was only when I was walking home alone that my mind started to wander. That, er, it had really bothered me at first. Maybe I really was jealous? I paused for a moment and looked up at the clear night sky. Maybe I was. Ah, Too cute! Oh god! Oh no, my heart! Oh no! <laughs> ah! Why? My, my poor little heart! Oh dear god! Oh! We're almost at the end of the game already! Yeah! Alright, so you gotta work! Work it, girl! Let's visit his shop. Hi, Hugh. Yep, we are almost at 100% for him. Oh, oh my god, our creativity is going up so freaking fast, finally! Holy shit! Alright, go to sleep. Go sleepy sleep. And then we have work. And then we have to go visit with you. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just keep doing what we do every day. Making plans to take over the world. No. Yeah. We're we're just practicing writing and uh writing poems. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. Um, you Hi. Oh, maybe tomorrow we're going to trigger a freaking event. Ah, I hope so. Good God. Oh, jeez. Fine. Fine, Amy. Fine. You freaking be that way. Fail at everything, why don't you? God. Holy crap. I didn't actually mean to fail at everything. Ugh. Alright, Hugh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we have to wait then. Alright. That's cool. Oh my god, Amy. Stop it. Stop. Oh, fuck you. 
All right, well, we're gonna keep practicing writing, and we failed at everything. Oh my god, you even failed at getting a decent night, or night sleep. How could you? Oh my god, Amy, quit! Ugh. She annoys me so much. My god. Well, you finally got something right. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Bring it on. Okay, okay. You got some creativity up, which is good. Painting course! Alright! Culture pl- Er, whoops. Creativity plus one. Which was what I really wanted. <laughs> Alright. So. Time to work. And then we go visit with Hugh. Hi, uh, you. Okay. And then... Practice writing? No. Okay. Okay. That, that's, that's cool. Ugh, no creativity points for that. Fine. Okay, now we're at 70. Which is okay, I guess. And... Boop, boop. Uh, visit Hugh's shop. Alright, so tomorrow, I need to save my game before he gets to 100. Oh my god, Amy, stop it! Stop being a bitch! Thank you! Thank you for not being a bitch! <laughs> Alright, so we did that, and let's visit with Hugh again. Alright, so then... When we go to sleep, we need to save. <laughs> Let's write that damn poem. Ah. Alright, save. Save, 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 save. Thank you. Alright, return to the game. Ah. And then we go to work. And visit with Hugh. Hi, Hugh. We are at 100! Yeah! So now we just have to wait for the... For the freaking game to end. <laughs> we... Oh shit! Did not mean to do that! Oh well. Eh. That's okay, I guess. Alright, so... We don't really have to visit with him anymore, I guess. Uh... Well... Actually, I kind of want to. Because I think there's supposed to be like a thing oh whoops okay guess I can't do it now that's okay whatever all right so uh oh oh it's this thing again right where we talk about Aaron and then it's like oh well we we're gonna take Aaron back home when he gets better, so Alright, I'm a bitch, but I'm gonna be nice to you right now because we're just like oh blah 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 And we have to be nice to her, so <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit, did not mean to do that. Oh shit <sighs> Painting course Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, 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 um. Practice writing. Did not get what I wanted. Uh, go write a poem. Yeah. Awesome. And then we take another painting course. Awesome. You got two more creativity points. Alright. Now then. It's going to be our last week at the ice cream shop. It sure is. Hi, Hugh. Here we go. I was in Hugh's clothing store. He was away doing some errands, and I was browsing through the different clothing racks. I had just found a little white dress I'd fallen in love with, and was standing in front of the mirror, holding it in front of me to see how I looked. When I heard Hugh's voice. 
Hello, Amy. I'm back in the shop. Whoa. Hi, what's wrong? You look dazed. Nothing's wrong, except you're not wearing that dress. I blushed furiously and wiped it away from me, or whipped it away from me. Whoops. <laughs> I was about to hang it back on the stand when Hugh's hand stopped me. I turned to look at him questioningly, and he stared back intensely. Amy, would you let me take you out to dinner? We are going to accept his offer. I let my mouth hang open unattractively for a moment before snapping it shut. Surprised, I thought back to the scene in the hospital. Aaron had given me his permission. Please? I've talked to Aaron. He says it's okay. And I really, really want to take you out. I smiled tentatively. I wasn't sure about this, and I had nothing to lose. Besides, I was feeling pretty flattered by his dress comment. I think I will. Oh. He blinked and grinned brilliantly. He took my hand and looked at me earnestly. Thank you. You won't regret it, I promise. I have to go now. See you tonight. I must remember to go to the restaurant this evening. I don't want to miss Hugh's date. Alright. I should come back here at noon or sunset if I want it. But. But. It's, it's not going to let me do any. Oh. Okay. I guess it will. Let's uh, go relax in the park, and then it's closed, and now let's go here. Amy, I've seen beautiful women, and then I've seen you. You look stunning. I laughed and twirled a little, showing off my dress. I wore that dress you liked so much. I can see that. He gave me one last admiring look, then led me out into the uh, restaurant's terrace. He pulled out my chair for me as soon as we reached our table, and then took a seat himself. I sighed and looked around, glorying in the magnificent sunset that painted everything red. It's so beautiful! Thank you for taking me here, Hugh. It's not nearly as beautiful as you, and I should thank you for letting me. He leaned forward to kiss me, and I happily complied. We stayed that way for a long time while the sun fell away behind us. Oh my god, my heart! Ah! <laughs> it was a beautiful date with Hugh, and the summer is almost over. I wonder what will happen next. Oh dear god, my heart. My poor little heart. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, that was just too cute. Why? <laughs> oh, God. Well, I still have a couple of minutes. So, let's uh, just get our creativity up, I guess. <laughs> That's really the only thing that we have left to do. Uh, okay. Thanks, Amy. Thanks a lot. Alright, well, you got that one, so I guess that's cool. Ugh, and you failed to get a good night's sleep. Great. Yeah! 80! Nice. Uh, go into your room and write a poem, and you did not get any creativity points for that. Cause you're a bitch, but you did that one, so guess it's not so bad. Awesome. <laughs> And, um, uh, practice writing, nothing, Ugh. so, so frustrating, alright, so wait, it is Friday, or Saturday now, okay, awesome, 82, fantastic, nothing, okay, painting course and you even failed at that fine well I'm all out of time for this episode guys so I really hope that you liked it and if you did 
please give it a big thumbs up down below. And the next episode, we will be getting into Hugh's uh, ending. The normal ending, I guess. And then I will try to get his special ending in the same episode. So, I guess if all things go well, we will be seeing both of his endings in the next episode of Always Remember Me. So, I will see you guys in the next video. So, bye bye